Calculating probabilities in the binomial probability distribution. And we're going to do this three ways. So here's a problem such as added homework. Assume that a procedure yields a binomial distribution with a trial repeated n times. And let's say this is the n is 9. The probability of success each time is 0.15. And let's say we're going to go for four successes. In other words, we're going to find the probability of, it, of obtaining exactly four successes. And we're going to do three methods of doing that. Method one, which is the by hand with the formula. So let's scroll down here. OK, so the probability of obtaining exactly four successes in nine trials with the probability of 0.15 each time is this formula. That's the binomial distribution probability formula. And it, you see this exclamation point. Well, that doesn't mean we're excited about the math, although we might be. Uh, this means factorial in math. And for example, nine factorial, you go down by integers until you get to one. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You multiply those, you happen to get this number here. But the important part is that 9 factorial is a multiplication of successive uh, integers starting with the number you're at there going down by 1 until you get to 1 and stop. So another example is 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 120. Now 1 factorial is just 1, because you're already there at 1. And interestingly, 0 factorial is also defined as 1. Why? Because it works out with the formulas. So that's what we do sometimes in math, just make a definition. OK, so for our particular problem, we're going to go down here to plug in the numbers in. And now let's show the formula up there at the same time. OK, so p of 4, which means x equals 4, 4 successes, is 9 factorial over 9 minus 4, as the formula says, factorial, times 4 factorial, times 0.15 to the fourth, that's the x, and 0.85 to the n minus x, 9 minus 4. So what's the 0.85? That's the q. That's the probability of failing each time. If the probability of succeeding each time is 0.15, then 1 minus 0.15, which is 0.85, is the probability of failing each time. So that's what the P and the Q are. Success, fail. So then we just clean that up a little bit with a little bit of algebra. Come down here, and it equals, we're here, right here. 9 factorial over this here. And I'm just pointing out here that this number here, 4, is how many successes you have. And the rest is going to be 5 fails, because if you have 9 trials and 4 successes, then of course you're going to have the rest, which is 5 in this case, be fails. And those two numbers there always add up to the end. All right. So from there, we're not really going to go on by hand after this, because if we do by hand and we do each of these numbers by hand, and we're going to, you know, you're, you're going to be having a habit of maybe rounding off, then your whole answer is going to be off. You either have to write all the digits out for all these, or just go to the calculator. So at this point, we're going to go to the calculator. Now, where are you going to get this uh, on the home screen? Where are you going to get this factorial from in the calculator? That's where I'm going to the math button, arrowing over to probability, PRB, and choosing number 4, which is the uh, factorial sign. So you got to be careful here. 9 factorial divided by parentheses. See? This 5 factorial times 4 factorial must be all in the denominator. So you got to have all this here in parentheses in the denominator. And you go times 0.15 to the fourth. Some of your calculators show the up arrow button when you do it. Some put the 4 up there. But anyway, it's 0.15 to the 4 
point eighty five to the five. And then you enter and you get the final answer right here. So the probability of obtaining exactly four successes among the nine trials is point zero two eight three. Alright, method two is a pure calculator method. And we're gonna find the probability for one x value and it's gonna be uh, four successes. We lost our little thing there. So we're still looking for the same amount of successes and we still have the same trial number nine and the same probability of success each time which is 0.15. So you hit second vars which is really distributions D-I-S-T-R uh, and you get this uh, menu there. Then you scroll down or arrow, arrow down to binomial PDF, that's this one, and enter. Now, if you have a newer type of uh, TIA4 or you know a, a newer calculator, you're probably going to see this, uh, this menu. But if you have an older one, you're going to see this on the home screen. So either one works. So you'll see one of these two. So what do you fill in there? You fill in, uh, you put in the N, and that's 9. You put in the P, which is 0.15, and the X value you're looking for, which is 4. You scroll down to Paste and Enter. This other way, you're already on the home screen, and you put in your 9, comma, the 0.15, comma, the success number that you're looking for, which is 4, close parentheses, and when you enter that, you're going to see this, and you're going to see the 0.0283, which is the same, and when you enter uh, this one, when you paste that, you're also going to see both of those. You're going to see this, 0.0283. So either way, you get the same answer. And that matches up to what we had before, which is right here, 0.0283. Okay, now we're going to go down to method three. It's kind of fun. might be a little long, but what that does, this method is, we find all the x value probabilities, all of them, in a list, not just one. So now you have the whole probabilities uh, for the whole distribution. So you go to stat and edit. That's number one. Enter, and you get there your uh, normal. I mean, you get your usual screen there. And of course, if there's data in L1, you scroll up to L1 and put clear and enter not delete or else your L1 will disappear it's clear and enter so then you're seeing this then you put all the X values in since there's nine trials you put in 0 through 9 0 1 is 0 5 6 7 8 9 okay you put those in that's in L1 then this is an important step you hit second quick quit to go to the home screen that's important otherwise things are going to get messed up so now you're fresh on the home screen and there's nothing else on there okay so now you go down here now that you've done that now hit second vars to go to the distribution screen arrow down to the binomial pdf enter and fill in that's nine point fifteen but this time we're gonna get them all so you're gonna paste in L1 right here you're gonna put in L1 where are you gonna get that that's from second L1 which is under the number one key that's how you get an L1 to appear there then you're gonna scroll to paste and you're gonna enter or if you don't see that type of screen and you see this on the home screen instead then you fill in your 9, comma, your 0.15, comma, your L1, which you get the same exact way as previously. It's second L1 under the 1 key. So either way, you now see this on the home screen. 
you got all your probability numbers here. Now what you want to do is store them into L2. So what you do is hit store, the store key, and you'll see this answer appear on the home screen. You put the L2 here. How do you do the L2? That's second L2, which is under the 2 key, and you enter. Okay, so now you go down to here. You see this. You see that the answers have been put into L2. So now you go back to stat, then edit, and enter, and you see all the probabilities there in L2. In particular, if x equals 4, there's your probability 0 0.0283. But it also shows you the probability of zero successes is going to be 0.23162. Why is that so high? Because the probability of success is only 0.15. Okay, so it's three ways of doing it, and uh, they're all valid ways to do that can be asked for on the test.